Hey, what up, guys? It's Grim. We're back in the Skyrims. What up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to the Romance Mod with our favorite last Yargonian maid, Lizzie Lizardpants. Is that her last name? We're giving her last names now? Yeah, she's now Lizzie Lizardpants. Whatever. This is a dead saber cat, because fuck it. <laughs> fuck the saber cats, okay? They're a menace on Skyrim, and they need to die. Thank you, Dova Bear. Wait, did I just piss him off? I piss everybody off? No. Okay, we're good. Let's just kill this damn saber cat before shit happens. That's from the uh, pet taming mod that we got, by the way. It gives people a bunch of pets. Shut up, Ogman. Okay. Anyway. Hey, welcome back. We're, uh, since last time, we figured out that there was a bunch of uh, options and ends that you could do with uh, Bishop. One of which includes him getting naked. So, um... I feel like we've explored that option. We're not gonna explore it again. Let's let's check out some of these other options because I'm super curious. Um, let's, let's see, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Let's rest here for a while. Bash up. Let's let's rest here for a while. Okay. Bishop and you rest from your journeys. Okay. What is? Once again, I'm not entirely sure what this uh, entails. Let let's warm our hands by the fire, baby. Like blowing on embers, a light began to glow around him. It was as if radiating heat was emanating from his skin, surrounding him. Waving white light, he looked like a dream. I, you, you, okay. It looks like your dog's breathing on your neck really hard, and you're strangely comfortable with it. You know what? Not even gonna question it, Bishop. You know, you do your own thing, man. That's cool. Can we go now? Oh, how long are you gonna do that for? What are you warming your hands by? There's no fire. Are you warming your hands on the heat emanating from Lizzie's cooch? <laughs> Graham, inappropriate! <laughs> Bishop, stop smirking like that. Like you're, like I'm right. <laughs> okay, what else can we do? Uh, you want to snuggle by the campfire, big boy? <laughs> Bishop's lips crack into a smile. Then he gingerly walks over to you and throws one of his arms around you, pulling you tightly against him. Okay, uh... My father, Klepper, oh, hi. is the one I want to talk to. I just clean up. That's a cool story, man. Uh, uh, we were just hanging out in the hallway, uh, warming ourselves by the warmth of a... Uh, never mind. Let's get out of here. We'll uh, explore some of those options later, but first we have to talk to this guy again, because I I am genuinely curious. I I heard there was some whole thing that he's got going on. Let's talk about your face, and we've heard all of what he said before, so let's try to speed Beautiful it up a bit, shall we? Why are you in this cage? You have such lovely eyes. I can see your soul in them. A dragon spirit, fearsome and mighty. Stop staring at my soul! You're to deliver me to death. Or are you a spirit of the afterlife? Come to beckon me to the heavens. I'm really fighting the urge to kill this guy. I am neither strange. Your words are not of those of a man sentenced to death. At this point, words are all I have, dear Sparrow. If I could, I would touch your delicate hands and place them on mine. I'm sure they are as soft as the petals of wildflowers that grow in the fields. Like the flowers I played with as a youth. Ah, such memories of a wonderful place. I will never see again. Wow, you were like high school poetry emotion. <laughs> Why are you caged, dude? You broke the law? I'm caged because I'm forsworn. Born to be prey. Always to be hunted and killed simply for who we are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like, okay, let's get through the, the conversation. The guards ambushed my people as we hunted the forest. They killed most of my family, but I survived. Alas, pretty sparrow. I will not live long. My death has been announced, and my time is soon. Well, that's cool. So, uh, you're gonna die real soon or something? Can you, like, speed it up anymore? <laughs> Is that anything I can do to save you because I want to save you because you got such a pretty face? Lovely Sparrow, so innocent and pure. You wish to save a crow. One that is so different than you. We're not that much different, buddy. I want to help you, but I need to know if you tell me the truth. Ah, you are cautious, my Sparrow. As you should be. For I am known as the Wolf of the Reach. I am a devourer of villages. And a slayer of Nordic heroes. You ate a village? That's what you would like to hear. Or would you rather believe I'm an innocent? I want to hear that you ate a village, because I'm curious so how you did that. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I want to know the truth, I think. I don't know. If I told you the truth, how far would you go to help me, my Sparrow? Would you kill these guards? Would you slit their throats to free a force one? 
Yeah, I'll slit their throats for shits and giggles. I don't care. As it should be, mighty dragonborn. Huh. You were surprised I know who you are. Did you think a great warrior, such as yourself, would go unnoticed by the Forsworn? There are many fantastic tales of you amongst my people. Some fear you, while others are in awe of your power. As they should be, my power is quite awe-inspiring, sir. I didn't think that Forsworn were interested in one such as myself. Dear Sparrow, the Forsworn are interested in more than you think. In the dark of night, their shadows creep along your city's rooftops, and their footsteps slip past your guards. Our scouts have learned of your politics and agendas. We know your secrets. We are not as naive or savage as most assume. Really? Because I dig naive and savage. So, uh, I don't know, if you want to get all up in this lizard booty, you should, like, you know, be that way. On the contrary, my dear Sparrow. I am always hunting something. Even now. So, you are a spy, or an assassin, or both? <laughs> For you, my beautiful Sparrow, I will be anything you wish. If you let me out of this cage, I will give you anything you desire. Anything? I will release you from your bonds. You can be wild and free. Your spirit cannot be harnessed, nor can it be broken. You will be welcomed by my people. Perhaps there's something more. Something more... intimate. Are you, are you talking about sex? I think you're talking about sex. I'm gonna say, what do you, what do you mean? But I'm pretty sure you're talking about sex. Or a phoenix. The power of your fire and the greatness of your spirit cannot be quenched by victory in battle alone. I am sure you are graceful and powerful in the art of love as well. Indeed I am, sir! lover is what you desire, Dragon Slayer. I can be that and more. I can satisfy you in more ways than you can fathom. Wait, are you talking about like animals? I can show you what fire feels like. Shut up, Grim. Tastes like. And when it consumes us together, the burns of it will scar you. And then, there is no return. Well okay, editing Grim. Talker. Editing Grim. I really, really I hope you sped up that conversation so uh, I'm so it'll be high pitched and hilarious. Oh, oh, you're talking. You oh, the, the men are talking. Let's shut up. Let's shut the up. The men are talking. Powerful creature. I do so envy you. You think she's stupid enough to believe the mind games you're playing with her? I am. I am. Your I words am. are worthless. They're worthwhile. Who knows? Talking. You might show a little anger towards these guards that put you here. Maybe find a way to punish them. Then, you and your brave companions would slit their families' throats in the middle of the night. Would you? That'd be hilarious! I say, I'm impressed with you, Dark One. I see your mind is as sharp as your weapon. <laughs> like, I care if you're impressed. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna walk away and let the guards behead you as planned. Or, I can slit your throat here and now. What's it gonna be? If death calls me now, I want it to be at the hands of the Dragonborn, not by the you. And all of Whatever shuts you up works for me. Now I'm gonna keep him talking, just because it annoys you, Bishop. My life is in your hands. What will you choose? As a slit your feet, quickly! You Put your hands out! Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry, you were still talking. Will you use those delicate hands to Yeah, uh, okay, we're done talking. Freed me, my sparrow. I did? I am in your death. What did I do? How did I free you? Oh. Bishop slumped slightly, disappointed. You cut Kale's bindings, then wedge your weapon between the bars and break the lock. While the guards are watching! <laughs> this guy's staring right at me! What kind of fucking prison break is this? Hey, guard, uh, I'm gonna free this dude just that you two guards are dedicated to keeping captive right in front of your faces. And you know what you're gonna do? Absolutely fucking nothing. Hey, before the guards! Sprout a brain! <laughs> they will not pursue me, dear Sparrow. But they will follow. Oh! They are forsworn. That makes sense! Oh my god! The hell and darkness surrounded me. They were going to set me free from this prison. I'm not running away with my tail between my legs. You do not fear the odds, Dark One. Not one bit. I could gut you before they get ten feet. Then there'd just be two of them. Hey, hey guard. <laughs> hey, guard. Guard. Hey, guy. Are they reforming the dawn guard? Vampire hunters. Yeah, that's great. Uh, those two guards are forsworn, and Might there's this forsworn escaping. Um, okay, you don't care. That's fine. <laughs> could be. Hey, what's up, kid? Another time, perhaps. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna be BFFs now. Coward. Ooh, you gonna take that? So, uh, Kale turns to you and gently reaches out and takes your hand by his. He gently strokes them with his thumb and s a smile comes across his face. Tell me, why did you ask for help? Since you're the wolf, you, since you, you're, that's the wrong, you, you are, it's what, whatever. You're the wolf of the reach. I am known as the wolf of the reach, but I would prefer it if you called me Kale, my sparrow. 
Okay, okay, old wolf of I the reach. I to lay my eyes on the mighty dragonborn. For I knew who you were the moment I saw you. That's neat. I wanted to speak with you without you drawing your weapon when you first laid eyes upon me. Think about it, my sparrow. If I had approached you in the wild, would you have not shot me with one of your graceful arrows? No, I probably would have just stabbed or you in the face. Or me with one of your shots. Or slew me once you saw me. A savage forsworn. Well, yeah, I would have straight up killed you, because that's what I do to force one. I most likely would have attacked you without thinking, yup. That is how it is with the force one, my beautiful sparrow. Between our people, we have no thought that the other has a heart, a voice, or one that they hold dear. We only see an enemy, and death. I can't help but notice you, like, the pitch of your voice has not changed since we first met. You're quite flatlined. <laughs> I feel like you're emotionally flatlined, Kale. I want, I want to get a rise out of you, buddy. Not that way. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, oh, fuck it. I see, I see what's happening under that little dress you got there. Oh my god. Can we just go, I never, what? <laughs> Kale continues to stroke your hand in his... And affectionately peers at you with striking blue eyes. Beautiful sparrow, my offer still stands. You can run away from your bonds, become a forsworn, and we can be together. For realsies? Can I? Seriously? Can I like become a forsworn and like? Cause I'm down with that. I, I don't give a fuck. I'll see what it's like. You notice in the corner of your eye, Bishop Bristle. At wait, what? I didn't get a chance to read that. I was too busy. Doing other shit. I'm sorry, Kale. I can't do it. I can't run away from my destiny. What's my destiny? I thought my destiny was to kick ass and take names. Oh, and kill Alduin. Did we do? Well, I guess Lizzie hasn't done that yet. But we've already done that. I don't. I don't remember nothing in our destiny saying we couldn't become a Forsworn. Why the hell not? I suspected to be a Forsworn was not your path to follow, my Sparrow. But that doesn't mean you cannot be a part of my family. We want to get hitched? The other force one won't see you as one of us. My clan will. If you wish to visit me and meet my family, I will mark our home on your map. Nito? I would like to visit your home, Kale, and I will make sure Bishop behaves. I will keep him in line. Perhaps, lovely Sparrow. But no, I am in your debt, and you have gained my trust. I am here if you need me and my force one. Farewell. How, how am I? How are you in my debt? Whatever. Kale leans forward and his lips quickly captured yours. His kiss was soft but rough, like snagged velvet. Snagged velvet? What? As they melt into you. Oh my god! You want to cut a venison what the fucker mother? just teleported? Did you see that, Bishop? That dude just teleported. Uh, you got anything to say about that? I have a feeling. You you're gonna be a little salty about that. The dude just like stole a kiss from these lizard lips, you, and you're feeling this ass. Like you're feeling this booty, buddy. I know you are. I see you. I see you with those golden orbs of yours. We're talking about your balls, right? No. Okay, let's go visit Kale. Wait, let's visit. Okay, let's see one more option in the end before we go too crazy, right? Right. Come before on. I'm Thoroughly distracted by uh, this nonsense we're back into. Let's rest for a while. Bishop, and you rest for new journeys. Okay. Uh, uh, I think I have a rock in my boot. Can you help me get it out? Bishop picks up your boot and laces it deliberately. That's kind <laughs> of okay. All right. Thanks, buddy. Swell of you. Why couldn't we do that ourselves? Are we not a self-empowered woman, Lizzie? Come on. You can do things on your own. My back is the... Uh, the fudge hat. <laughs> she walks behind you and starts to remove your armor. As soon as his bare hands brush your skin, you feel a shiver run down your spine. Firmly, his hands start to press into your back, and you feel utterly helpless to his strength. It feels almost magical as he starts to do wonders to your shoulders. You cannot help but let out a quiet uh, as he works out your stubborn knot in your back. You hear him suddenly hold his breath. His hands start to work passionately against you 
It feels amazeballs. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's get out of here. That was great, Bishop. Thanks. You can massage my tail next. <laughs> so stupid. Now, where the shit does this guy live? Uh, let's see. D -d 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 it's not on my. Oh my god, I have to actually like hunt it down on my map. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, there it is. Why the hell can I find that? Oh, you're gonna make me walk? Oh, you are such a dick. Game. Okay, fine, mm. fine, fine. We can walk. Mm? I have my eye on you, Kale's guard. Need something? I need you to not be a forsworn son of a bitch. Sarah, Fact. do you have the anything? The bloodiest beef in the region. Hmm? Alright. Something no other woman All right. Mark Hearth I'll let it slide around. this time. Trying to keep the bloodlust to a minimum here. This mod is about the bromance, not about the bloody fucking violence, okay? That's, I need to get into that state of mind, you know? You know? Not the whole kill, kill, may, may, murder, murder, blast, ass. Well, there's there might be a little bit of ass blasting. Am I right, buddy? Not going in. Nothing. I can't believe you didn't call me Lizard. Most of the times, the guards are just like, walk the off the Lizard. That's nice. Oh my god, we're so progressive here in Markarth. Unless you commit a petty crime, then they will murder you. Straight up, on the spot. They don't give two shits, okay? They are ruthless like that. But, despite their ruthlessness, they are quite cordial with other races. Isn't that progressive, Bishop? I'm gonna flirt with your face. What can his ranger do for his lady? I need you to stand there and be pretty while I ask you why you're not taken. What? You didn't notice my trail of admirers? Start washing your eyes in the morning. I, wait, but, but, well, I, but, okay. I'm trying to think about how you do that. Um, wash your eyes. How, what? Uh, you know, I thought I had a good handle on, like, you know, general hygiene, just as a, a human being that exists in the world and took health class in high school. But apparently I don't! Yeah, there's a Naga. He's gonna steal my bike. That's an old joke that isn't that funny, Grim. Way to go! Alright, where the fuck we go? How the fuck do you wash your eyes, Bishop? Riddle me this! How does one do that? Well, I suppose I have an eye wash station. Uh, is that, I don't think we have those in Skyrim. And I think you're supposed to use those when you get chemicals. I am thinking about this shit way too much. Oh my god. Plus, trail of admirers. I, I haven't seen any in quite some time, Bishop. I'm gonna flare your face again! Question. Oh god. <sighs> you know, every time you do this, I always get pissed off, Bishop. What is it? What do you want? Do you feel it as well? Does it burn inside no, you? No, I don't. I, I do not. I'm walking away. I'm walking away right the fucking hell. You son of a bitch before you get into it. Before you start licking my eyeball again, okay? You know what? You know what? I don't need to wash my eyeballs, Bishop, because apparently you do it for me with your tongue, which is weird. Stop doing that. Let's stop faffing about and get to this stupid freaking village already. I want to be a Forsworn! <laughs> Apparently it's not my destiny to be a Forsworn, damn it. Why is my game lagging out so much? Oh, probably because I'm doing kill moves and shit. Awesome. Thanks, Lizzie. I needed that. Uh, no, seriously. Why are my friends dropping? This is upsetting. Dover Bear, do you have anything to say about Dover Bear, I wish you were a man. I would fall in love with you in an instant. Look at your face. I want you to be a boy bear. Why can't you be more like Dover Bear? God oh, damn it. No. No. No questions. We're taking no more questions. We're only fighting whatever this is. A dragon day drop that's <laughs> killing my game's performance and making me use potions, you son of a bitch. How dare you, you fucking asshole. Prepare to die! If I can swing my damn sword already. Okay, thank you. Jesus, H Christ. So much blood and violence. You know what, do we even have to show this? Well, I guess we're like right there, so it's not a big deal. All right, all right. No, I gotta say, guys, I gotta say, now that we have a moment just to talk, me and you, you and me, you know, you watching, me talking, playing this game. Is this new? Oh no, this is your game. Anyway, like I was saying. You know, I feel a lot of pressure to- oh, uh, What?! I don't code, care! I go where please, won't Orc! We you, Outlander, but we don't want you here. Remember that. Fucking, I don't care. I don't care, Orc. Stop talking in my face. I don't care. Look what I'm saying. You know, I gotta feel a lot of pressure to make these episodes good. I, I kinda do, guys. I won't lie. I feel like I I'm obliged to make these good because a lot of people watch these romance mods. And, I, I don't know. I get like actually a little anxious before I record them. It's kind of weird. I know, I know, I know. This isn't this isn't the typical grim fashion. <laughs> Shut up, Macho Dragon. There you go. No, no Macho Dragon. That's not okay, please don't die. Don't let there save me. Where's Bishop? Oh, what are you doing, Bishop? Oh, there's a bad guy behind you. Oh, oh, thanks, guy. <laughs> Thought you were coming at me, bro. You had your arrow pointed straight at my face. I was about to say, Bishop, that is not how you caught a lady. You don't shoot them with an arrow. Well, actually, uh, Lizzie's probably done with that. She likes it rough. Like like to stab you in the face, rough. Pure water run. Okay. Uh, now this is... Is this... Are we even on the right track here? Oh, we're like right there. I was about to say, this is really close to that one dead crone rock place where, where all the Force One hang out. And yeah, I've died there before. I got pissed. I remember. There was an episode. I forget which episode it was. But I died there once and I was very angry. I don't forget that easily. Hey, Kale! My beautiful sparrow. You have come. Are these your fans? Where's the ladies? Which one's your mom? I have missed you greatly, my sparrow. Is this your mom? How have your travels been? Hi, Kaoth, Mom. How are you? How you been? No, seriously, where's... Are there any girls here? What do you need? 
No, seriously, are there any girls? Oh, there's the girl! Well, aren't Hi. you a lucky lady? <laughs> hmm? You have all the affection of the boys here. What the? Oh! Oh, neat! You worship Nocturnal here. Oh, cool. That's awesome. We do that in the Thieves Guild, too. <laughs> so, uh, what's your deal, brah? Kill your village is beautiful and protected. Be safe on your travels. Why, why are we lying to him? <laughs> why are we lying to Kale? Oh, look, there's another one. Okay, okay. There are ladies here. It's just total sausage fest. This, that's definitely what this place is. Absolute fucking sausage fest. So you claim it's protected. Well, I would beg to differ. Um, I kind of just walked in. I probably could have murdered like half of you by now, but you know, yes. whatever, whatever. Um. I'm just gonna tell you what you want to hear, I guess, Kale. Your village is beautiful and protected well, sort of, kind of. I can't clicky, I'm clicking. Can you hear that? I'm clicking, like, as hard as I possibly can. Hold on, let's try this again. No? No? Okay. I could just shout at you. I could do that. I'm gonna try that. Are you, are you gonna come at me if I shout at you, Kale? Because Bishop, Bishop won't. And I shout at him constantly. That's kind of a prerequisite to get with this lizard booty, okay? You need to be able to take shouts like this. Hold on. You coming at me? Huh? You coming at me, fam? You gonna do anything? Yes. Taros? Yes. You got some, like, Tyson face tattoos, man. Okay, mm. whatever. Hey, Kale! Your village is beautiful, this protect it well! This is the day. A precautionary measure. Such as the guards I'm sure you noticed on the way in. We sleep through most of the day as a precautionary the measure. Afternoon, our village comes to life. We laugh, and love, and work, just as any other people do. Um, no, I hate to break it to you, Bishop, but, uh, most people that sleep during the day, uh, it's not for precautionary reasons, it's because they're fucking lazy. I'm not implying anything here or anything, but I'm totally implying that you're a bunch of lazy assholes. I'm sorry the Force when I've been so... Put upon. Wait, what? I'm sorry. The force one have been so put upon. Put upon. What? Uh, am I missing something here? It is our lot, my sparrow. Since before my existence, it has been this way. Right. Uh, y you got pride and shit, buddy. Pride has been the substance that keeps us together and motivated, my sparrow. We have used it to keep us powerful. So I, c I can't help but notice you keep calling me Sparrow. It's dangerously close to Bishop calling me princess, which would mean I would have to shout at you. Plus, if I'm a bird, if anything, I'm a fucking falcon, man. That's my falcon. If I had a face cam, you'd see that, but this is my falcon face. Bitch! <laughs> Grim, you're an idiot. But it might also be the things that make you... Unimaginable. The very thing that us together is the same as what brings death and isolation to our people. How can we change that? What? I wasn't paying attention. What just happened? I think I offended him. Uh, do you talk to me? Force one protector? To a point Are you what else? Sharper than my sword. I'm beginning to like you, Dark One. Is Bishop here? Are you talking to the to the elk? The moose? I'll try not to. I think you are both right. Are you? Wait, what? Tomorrow I will speak of this in our council meeting and offer an alternative. Thank you, dear Dragonborn. I, I, I feel like I missed some conversation here. Still stands, my sparrow. You can become part of our people and make your home here. Your wisdom and vision is much needed. And personally, you have won my heart. When did I do that? I extend this offer to you as well, Dark One. Where's I know Bishop? You are a fearless warrior, a man of honor and void of deception. Oh, oh, are you the new Dark you One? The Dragon Sir Elk? Could help lead our people into a more prosperous existence. You're you're pointing at the elk while talking. Are you two having a conversation? Elk. Thank you for coming to see my village. Oh, yeah, no problems. You're always welcome here. And as I said, I am in your debt, should you ever need me. Can we hang out with Kale instead of Bishop? Because uh, I kind of want to see what he has to do, what, if he has any cool things. I heard you can communicate with the animals, too. Isn't that right, buddy? I want to... Can I just marry you? 
I like you, buddy. You're cool. You don't talk much. <laughs> this guy! I love this guy! Can I- I really want an elk to ride. I just want to ride you, elk. Come on. <laughs> you know what? You know what? We're gonna- I think we're gonna explore s some more of this Force War nonsense next time. What do you need? Nothing, man. <laughs> and maybe, uh, maybe try to fix that last little bit of dialogue, because uh, I'm pretty sure you were supposed to be talking to Bishop there, but it looked like you were talking to our elk friend. Who's the coolest?! So, maybe we'll fix that. I don't know. I need to decide. Uh, anyway, I'll see you then. Laters!